The past two years must seem like a bad dream for real estate developers in India. After a period of heady growth, they are now coming to realize that one cannot borrow money and expand forever while expecting demand and prices to keep up. A case in point, Orbit Corporation, a Mumbai-based listed company which has seen some of its projects being seized by the lender LIC. The customers who bought into these projects are left high and dry. Nikhil Narayan reports. High debt, stall projects and low demand have placed Orbit Corporation in Mumbai under severe stress. So much so that they have been unable to pay back loans and are now having their projects seized. The company's troubles first came to light when LIC Housing Finance took over several flat at its project, the Orbit Grand in Andheri last year. That has left customers like Thomas Toscano, an NRI from London who had invested on the promise of the Orbit brand name, out in the cold. I realized that something was wrong when um, they stopped asking me for the installments as per the building slabs. I just wait now till uh, you know the possession is uh, is given to me, which now I understand will be uh, 16, 17. So uh, I I mean there's there's no option for me. I just have to wait. Orbit Corporation's troubles are far from over. Last year, when Orbit Residency was taken over, the company said it was actively working on a plan to repay LIC Housing Finance and that the project would soon be back on track. But even after a year later, that has not happened. Experts blame the company's inability to face up to market realities. So Orbit is a, is a premier real estate development company focused on South Mumbai for luxury projects. So clearly, luxury you know, after prices reached a high point and economy started going down, it didn't do well overall. So the company didn't had alternate projects which are fast moving in suburban markets so they could have had some cash flow. Orbit Corporation claims that it is monetizing its assets to pay back loans and has appointed an asset restructuring company to help reduce the interest on its debt. While that process goes on, there is no denying that Orbit's recent experiences have left a bad taste in the market. We're having a very tough time convincing clients on other developers as well based on this experience by Orbit. You look in South Mumbai, a good developer fails out because of whatever reasons. But then the market knows what's happening and then and people get concerned for sure. This negativity puts Orbit in a catch-22 situation. They need sales to improve to get their projects back on track and repay their debts. But customers are unwilling to invest unless it's a ready project. The good news for customers in the seized project is that the right to the property is protected, as the government considers this to be an ownership claim if the agreement is registered. Going ahead, they have two options. Pursue legal action to get their money back, or wait for Orbit to monetize their assets and complete work on the project. There may be a delay, I totally agree, but looking at the capital appreciation that has happened last few years and what potentially may actually happen. So if this is not the only and capital that you have blocked and you can actually breathe uh, outside of this, then you should stay invested because things will turn around. It may take longer, but it may just happen. Or you actually simply discount and sell in the secondary market uh, to somebody else who can take a risk. With real estate developers buckling under high debt, these may be the only options available for customers of stalled projects. But with demand for completed projects increasing, real estate developers will have to get their act in order, exercise fiscal discipline and complete their projects on time if they want to get back on track. From Mumbai, Nikhil Narayan Shivdas, NDTV. For once, a request for an interview with the promoters of Orbit was not denied. In fact, Pujit Agarwal, MD and CEO of Orbit Corporation, was willing to give us his side of the story. This is what we asked him. Mr. Agarwal, two of your projects have been taken over by LIC Housing Finance and at least two others are stalled. What happens to your customers who have purchased units here? Are you taking any steps to compensate them? Well, uh, let me put the facts uh, more accurately. We have eight projects which are stalled because of the regulatory logjam between 2011 to 2014. Uh, in the year 2014, we got four projects back on stream. And in this year, we're getting two projects more back on stream, which is in January. So we've got six projects back on stream. So, uh, well, yes, uh, to that extent, two projects are still uh, balanced for them to be cleared from the regulatory framework. Now, as regards uh, two projects being taken over uh, by LICHFL, uh, there is a symbolic possession 
which has been taken over by LIC HFL. Uh, as per the orders of the DRT, uh, the projects still remain in our, uh, you know, so-called uh, uh, control, where we are doing the construction and work goes on uh, on both these projects. So uh, there is no cause uh, for alarm that the project is out of our hands and there's no work going on as such. You say no cause for alarm, sir, but Orbit Residency was taken uh, over a year ago. Then at that point of time, you had indicated that efforts are underway to get the payment schedule back on track, but nothing has happened. The buyers are still in a lurch. Well, uh, as far as Orbit Residency Park is concerned, you're aware uh, this is one of the projects, again, which was uh, affected due to the regulatory logjam. 2011, the project stalled because we had to apply for uh, the permissions based on the new uh, DC regulations. It got stalled in, I think, 2012. However, it was taken over by LICHFL in 2013, November. But uh, as per the orders of the DRT, we were able to get possession back for construction and we are doing work over there from May or June 2014 onwards. So work goes on at that site. You know, just uh, to understand one other aspect, a number of the customers here say they don't have the registered sales agreements as yet. What happens to their claim, uh, Mr. Agarwal, on the property if LIC decides to auction the property? And that is a possibility. Well, uh, various scenarios could emerge, but uh, let me tell you one thing is that Orbit get, takes great pride in uh, you know their projects. We take great pride in what we do, and uh, it is our duty to deliver the flats which have been sold. Now, in the process of sale, whether we have just had a shake hand, or we have an allotment letter, or an agreement for sale, or a registered agreement for sale, uh, that does not matter as long as there is uh, understanding, we will deliver upon the understanding. As far as banks are concerned, they will try and do whatever best possible from their point of view, and they're right in doing so. However, the way things are currently, we believe that we will arrive at a position where banks will not be auctioning off the property because we are doing the construction, improving the position over there, and moving towards a point where we will deliver the particular project. As we are moving towards that goal, construction is going on at the pace and we will get the flows from our customers based on the slabs that have been completed. We've had new, numerous meetings with our customers where they are comfortable in uh, paying us for the construction of the project. And uh, based on a mutual understanding between the customers and us, I see that these projects will be completed and delivered to our customers. We will make sure that we will not leave any stone unturned to achieve this object. You know, what about then the debt situation? I can see that you're struggling to complete your projects. You also have a target and a plan of cutting debt by 300 crores. As of now, we are still on target for uh, cutting debt by 300 crores. 100 crores debt has already been cut. For the additional 200 crores, we are at uh, the advanced level of uh, documentation completion where uh, we, we believe fully well that before March we should be able to achieve that. Mm. You know Mr. Agarwal, you go on your website, the first thing that you see is a promise of transparency and governance. But that promise really hasn't been delivered. What do the customers do? They came to you with a lot of hope. I would like to differ on that because uh, as far as transparency is concerned, uh, we have been most transparent even during these difficult times. It's just that, that uh, every customer would like to see an end result, which unfortunately wasn't in our hands due to the reasons as I have explained earlier. Uh, but uh, let me tell you and reiterate that we take great pride in what we do at Orbit and uh, we will deliver on our promise, albeit a bit late. but. We will deliver and our customers will be more than satisfied. 
Pujit Agrawal, thank you very much for coming on camera and giving us this clarity and assurance on the stuck projects that you will deliver. Well, you know, you've mentioned regulatory jams, but then there are other developers also in Mumbai who, despite the environment and the conditions that prevail in the Mumbai market, have been able to deliver. I'm hoping and keeping my fingers crossed that the customers will not be disappointed. Uh, Samir Jasuja joins me, CEO and founder of Prop Equity. Samir, we were the ones who recommended uh, Orbit Corp project in Mumbai isn't it and and we keep that was the only call which we have worried about over over the last two and a half years we've not had the backlash that we've had on recommending this project well you know uh, as far as what we are looking at uh, uh, in the, with respect to the show is more to do with the demand supply dynamics the price variation trends the inventory trends having said that we also look at the developer track record but what happens in the present and affects the future is very difficult very for difficult. us to be able to predict. And we, we didn't have any predict. information about yes. the fact that, you know, they were delayed on their debt payments and yeah. that LIC that could actually That is something that we can't track. We cannot and, track. Uh, but it also really depends on the housing finance institution. We, for a fact, know today that there are many, many are rolling over the debt. are in a worse off shape than Orbit is, but fortunately they're managing the bankers pretty well. Hmm. We know for a fact that LIC stop management changed and they, they decided to make this an NPA and they went after the developer, which I think in some respects is very good because it has scared off the other developers. Mm. The prices in these micro markets, both the projects which have been taken over by LIC have actually moved up. Now let's look at Orbit Residency in Andheri. The project was launched at seven to 8,000 rupees per square foot. Prices today are at 15 to 16,000 rupees per square foot. Presence of Sakinaka Metro and New Roads has of course increased the interest in this area as well. Now if you look at Orbit Bit grand, the other project that we we captured in our story in Lower Parade, launched in 2009-10, uh, was launched at 16 to 17 thousand rupees per square foot. Prices today are 25 thousand rupees per square foot. Now the project uh, interestingly has one BHK units of 800 uh, square feet, which realtors or actually brokers, I would say, not realtors, say is proving to be an attract attraction as uh, valuations are lower. And probably it's one of those rare offerings uh, in that area with this configuration. So we can just hope that Orbit Corporation management gets this right, delivers and restores the confidence. Confidence, the biggest crisis in the real estate market today is the buyer's confidence. And everybody in the industry needs to get together, the developers, and assure that that comes back.